Hello everyone, and welcome back to my dog girlfriend. I didn't release a story update video because I figured I'd just tell you guys what happened. We got real fucking intimate in the bathroom. <laughs> and, um, let me tell you. It was interesting. We almost smashed all three at once. That's, that's what that scene was. Uh... So, basically, up at the party, you know, all the girls were like, oh, yeah, we should celebrate, and then things got real sensual and delicious. So, um, yeah, that, that pretty much happens. Uh, our character just got down uh, downstairs into the cafe. Um, backlog does not work on this fucking game, and if it did, it would probably be like, oh, well, guess what, PG-13, bitch. And I'm like, okay, fuck you too, man. So, here we are at um, returning to the cafe. I hope fucking we don't come run into Naomi. <clears throat> I return to the cafe. God damn it. Already with the fucking music. <laughs> Already with the fucking music. By the way, this is going to be an hour long video. If it's not an hour long video, then there was a recording error. I see a face that I recognize. And before I can get out of the way, she storms up to me, ripping through the crowds like a fucking temptist of pure PMS. Sharon, oh, it's, it's fucking Sharon, everyone. It's fucking Hurricane Sharon up in here. Fucking the tempest of the fucking the cold bitch of the seas with a fucking ice cold heart that would freeze over all of Earth if it was dropped in the Arctic. Sharon gets so close to me so only that I can hear her. You know how much I love you, yet it seems that you're doing everything to hurt me. All I want to see is you succeed. Why are you being so cold to me? <laughs> Bitch, I'm Ember Fox. I'm not warm, Fox. I'm not fire, Fox. No. I'm Ember Fox. I just keep I just keep the fires lit. I'm basically your YouTube fire keeper, alright? Except I have a tongue. And I can see. I can see so clearly now that all the anime titties are gone. What? I'm just following my dream. My metaphorical and virtual dream. I'm sorry that my parents gave you the completely wrong fucking impression. My parents don't speak for me. I'm a free man. But I'm never going back home to live because I'll die. Our time has finished, Sharon. Fucking put me on Dr. Phil if you need to. Fucking he can come at me all he wants with those knife hands. I'll fucking block that shit. I love you, Dr. Phil. Suddenly her eyes water. And I feel guilty. Don't you dare fall for crocodile tears, boyo. Believe me. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You have all these women lusting over you. After you. Just making me jealous as possible. Well, I don't fucking care about your feelings. Because you're a crazy bitch. Who tries to use the powers of wom womanly wiles to win over a weeb. Don't you know that if you're not an anime girl, you have no chance at my heart? Does it mean nothing to you that I was the one who was there for you from the beginning? What the fuck are you talking about? I appreciate the time we had, but I never felt that you wanted to see me do my best. You only wanted to keep me under your thumb. I felt like you just wanted to control me and use me like a tool. Yeah, that actually sums up Sharon pretty much. <laughs> Sharon hisses in my ear like a snake, but not a snake what lady. Returning to the old Sharon that I remember from the past. Your games don't fool me, bitch. You're just full of yourself. The only thing I'm full of is ramen and green tea and a possible fucking... I don't know, what do you call those teeth that you're supposed to get removed? Wisdom teeth. Because I have extreme pain coming from my jaw, right around the back teeth areas, so my wisdom teeth are probably coming in. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it doesn't affect my voice, and hopefully they don't fracture my jaw. No matter how big of an ego you get, you're never going to be anything without me. I'll be everything without you, and that's all that matters. You'll never, and you know you'll never have as good sex as you had with me. 
Bitch, your vagina probably feels like all the other vaginas in the world. No woman's vagina is fucking special. They all feel the fucking same. Warm, wet, and welcoming, okay? Fucking hell. Your pussy's not that special. I'm sorry, but it's not. Yeah, you might know some moves, but good for you. That last part was hard to deny because Sharon was very crazy out of bed and in bed, too. Okay. Well, if you want crazy sex, just have sex with Mia. No, don't have sex with Mia. You you terrible being you. But it wasn't worth the headache of managing her as a girlfriend. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be with that abominable wolf girl. What do you mean? I paused for a long second. Now you just hold up a minute here, young lady. What do you mean? Are you talking about Naomi? Sharon leans into me and makes her words very cold. Colder than the winds of Skyrim. Colder than the ice spells that they seem to always fucking cast at you whenever you're doing a power attack. Anyway, let's get back to this. Yes, it was me. Can't wait to tell Naomi this. I was the one who took Naomi late out of the house at night when you were still sleeping. I left her on the highway all those years ago. And here I thought our character's parents did it. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me uh, let me just the, adjust the tea bags in my uh, tea at the moment, because that's the real tea, sis, or that's the real tea, brother. <laughs> this is it. Uh, yep, yeah, it's too fucking hot. Yep, too hot. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Naomi is, was probably a really nice fucking person. She was probably a tomboy. You just ki got me kicked out of one of the greatest fucking anime... Not anime. Hentai tags of all fucking time. Fucking bitch. Because I'm the only one who's good for you. You're not good for me. You're terrible. You're like that girl in the fucking manga series I just got done reading called I Was Wrong. It's fucking crazy ass shit, man. Check it out on Manga Rock if you got a chance. None of those slutty celebrities. Well, I can't argue with you there. There probably are some really slutty-ass celebrities out there. I hope I never become one of them if I ever do become a celebrity of some kind. One day you'll know that, believe me. Sharon, can you just fucking leave? <laughs> You're ruining my good night. I almost got arrested. <laughs> and she leaves, leaving me shocked. Why are you shocked? You're damn right I fucking ground for about an hour and... Actually, I ground for about three hours <laughs> to get that many fucking rubies. Continue on. Keep going, good sir. We are going to be the greatest gentlemen that ever gentleman a lady. Why is our room still fucking pink? I decide to sleep with the dog girls, and that night, we wake up in the morning feeling rejuvenated. Oh, god damn it. What fresh hell am I waking up to? Before any of them get up, I walk to my dresser and open a drawer. I open a drawer that I don't usually deal with. <laughs> I take out a book, my diary, and flick through it. You have a fucking diary? Gay? Anyway. And flick through it carefully, thumbing the pages. On every single page, my stomach tightens. Memories pour out. I feel nauseous because there are emotions. However, by the end page, there's a big fat smile on my face. What, you got a picture of Naomi posing naked for you? It's okay. I'm sure we're all going to get one at some point. Of an, of an ex-girlfriend naked, I mean. I mean, I, have a, I probably have a couple on my old phones that I just don't remember. <laughs> I finally have a solution to the problem at hand. Whatever happens today, I can face it with this. Oh yeah, that's definitely a naked picture. My diary. How much gear can you get, dude? I'm fucking bisexual and I fucking feel offended about how gay this guy is. <laughs> Mia groans. <laughs> Master, come back to bed. Why are you up so early? I was just reading my diary because I'm a fucking faggot who can't get out his emotions unless he writes them down. 
Uh, wait, that's that's just my poems and shit. I'm just a piece of shit who has to write in a little book and spread my feelings all over like I'm a 14-year-old girl discovering love for the first time. There, that, that summarizes it, right? I don't know. Yawn, yawn. He's turning in more of a dog than us. Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> After last night, I cannot function without more sleep than normal. Plus, it is the weekend. Yeah, it's gonna be our busiest time, so get your asses up. No, no you guys can sleep in. I don't give a shit. Mumble, mumble. Why are you chasing me, dragon? I only want to eat some of your spaghetti! Lily, you eat that spaghetti, you tell that fucking dragon. You tell him the fuck off so you can eat his spaghetti. And don't touch my spaghetti. I think Lily's still dreaming. Unfortunately, today is a day where we cannot oversleep. Can we overeat at least? <laughs> I mean, two of the best things in life. Two of the many best things in life are sleeping and eating. Today is the big day of the vote to see who gets the keys to both cafes. Are we actually at the end of the game? I hope not. Why is Master have such a big smile on his face? I don't know. I don't care. There's not absolutely nothing you can do to get me to wake up. You're already awake, Mia. Stop playing hard to get when you're hard to want. Yawn, yawn. I no longer care either. Okay, since nobody fucking cares, I was gonna go get my dick cut off. No. <laughs> So easily influenced, but we need to get dressed. Hmm. Use reverse psychology, because that's what gentlemen do. Well, I'm sure you guys wouldn't be interested in where I'm heading anyway. Get ears prick up. Dog girls want to know where their master is at all times. <laughs> I'm sure they do. He's bluffing. Shut your eyes. Shut your face, Mia. I whistle, causing them to prick their ears again. Do you ever do that with a cat? You just like make like little noises, and you just watch their ears perk up every like when they're when they're like going to sleep. You just prevent them from sleeping a little bit, just to, just to see the fuck you look that they get in their eyes. I did that when I had my cats. <laughs> Where am I? One moment, I was stealing spaghetti from a giant green dragon, and the next moment, I hear Master whistling. What's going on? L Lily, you need to calm down. Yes, Master's whistle is hard to ignore. I think my whole existence is hard to ignore. I can barely ignore it myself. Brother, brother! <laughs> I nearly fall over from the shock of seeing my door burst open to reveal dog girls and my dumbass fucking sister, Elizabeth, who still has the stupidest fucking name ever. Oh, oh, this is scandalous. All of them in the same bed together. I believe we missed a mega party. If we weren't inviting, I, I will assume that the party was not that fun. It was fucking amazing. We almost had an orgy in the bathroom. That's how amazing it was. We got to talk to the mayor. Everyone threw a fundraiser for me. It was a fucking party that I don't want to forget. But you guys will see it on the next playthrough, hopefully. I wave my hands around, my face going red. Why is it going red? Are you a fucking turnip? Turnip for what? Okay, stop. No, 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 no. I'm a gentleman. This is not what it looks like probably is, though. I don't think this is deniable, Master. Shut the fuck up, cat! Yes, we clearly slept together in this bed. And it was nice. You're not helping, Lily! I lower my head. Ashamed. Don't you dare. You put you you let your hands you let both your heads stand tall and proud because that's what being a male is all about. Tell me all the unspeakable stuff that happened last night. You sure you want to know? Shock Elizabeth by playing at her own game. 
I decide that Elizabeth has become very adept at making me feel awkward. She must be doing it on purpose. Time to time to tables the turns and make her feel embarrassed. We had candles and incense. There were rose petals all over the floor. I don't remember if there actually was. You might say it was a night full of passion, desire, crazy interspecies sexual conduct. And the best part? We did it raw. I raw dog dog girls. Oh, really? <laughs> she clasped her hands together in excitement. Hold on, I gotta stir my tea. Don't want the flavor going to all one side. I don't know if that makes sense to any tea drinkers that I have as people who watch my videos, but you know, if you don't stir it around, then all the flavor goes to the bottom <laughs> and none of it's at the top. So yeah, I, okay, let's get back to the story. I lower my head again. God damn it, we played bad in their game. I don't think there's any way to shock this girl. You'd be surprised. You're beyond saving, sister. Go ahead and go read your fucking yaoi fucking hentai mangas. That's okay with me if it means I get to take part in all the scandals of your life, my love. Don't fucking call me that. I think it's about time to change the subject again. Good, let's change the su subject like people change genders all the fucking time. I do my trademark cough. <coughs> Ahem. So what exactly brings all of you lovely ladies to my humble abode? Yuna couldn't stop yapping about how she was sure that you were going to beat Naomi. Yep, I'm going to beat her. I'm going to beat her senseless. In a very sexual way. Because I don't believe in abuse. And I couldn't miss this for the world. I have to drink some water. Hold on. Elizabeth does the fucking basic ass bullshit that fucking little sisters do in goddamn incest anime. Elizabeth locks arms with me. Pressing herself tight. Unto me. Not into. Unto is proper. I don't know why I clapped. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised news traveled that far. I suppose our whole old home isn't so remote, after all. My face goes even redder, if it's possible, when my parents show up at, by the door, together with my friend, Dipshit. I can't wait. I've been waiting to do this fucker's voice. <laughs> this is not okay. Hey, what's up, Hugh Hefner? Now I understand why you want to take the dark girls, hey. I was the one trying to return them to you, but I was seduced by their feminine dog girl charms and my subscribers. <laughs> Do not lie, Master. We all know that you're a major pervert. Okay, you use the word pervert so much that it puts me in a bit of agony in the pits of my soul because I am not a pervert. I swear. Pervert, 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 Lily. You're breaking my heart here. She jumps on the bed gleefully, her titties bouncing around in her nightgown, which she wears... Literally everywhere, because these characters don't change their outfits. They're like me, they have like four fucking different clothing options, I guess. I don't know. But in this game, they only have one. Oh no, not the father. Where's the son? Oh wait, where's the son? Where's the Holy Spirit? Oh wait, I'm in hell, never mind. I see my son's f developed into a full-fledged playboy. <laughs> Hello, father, I've never had. I lower my head even further, sinking it into the dark abyss of hell. Well, it's such the first time this has happened. You shut the fuck up, mom. Please, don't embarrass me more. The room goes silent. Everyone must be wondering what the hell that means. Oh my god. Yeah, I think my wisdom teeth actually are coming in because I'm actually having problems. Uh, 
I think it's time we let everyone know the secret behind the divide between you and Naomi. Okay. Calm the fuck down, father. You can explain it or I will. Well, it might as well come from my mouth instead of yours, because you'll probably fuck it up. But I do, I feel so guilty for it that I need to get that off my shoulders. We lock eye contact for a long time. Something I don't understand. Probably because I don't have a father figure in my life. Well, I do, but... Anyway, let's continue. I didn't know that my father felt that way about that night. <laughs> my boy's finally getting some puss puss. Even if it is from a wolf girl. Ooh. Oh, you can bet your ass we're gonna explain what happened that night, because I want <laughs> I want all the juicy deets. I take a deep breath and I speak clearly, something that apparently I cannot do when it comes to English auto-generated captions by YouTube. Naomi was my first love. Actually, my first love's name will shall remain anonymous for uh, her own safety. First love. So romantic. I won't deny it. I was head over heels, and so was he. I mean, she. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> but they were so young, and they knew that it was taboo. So? <laughs> I mean... You shouldn't have underage sex. But your friends will make fun of you if you don't, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. So they had their relationship for more than a year. My own family doesn't know that I I, I actually got dumped not too long ago. So, I don't know what to tell you. Master, that's such a long time. No. When you're with someone you love, time does not matter anymore. Yes, not only for dogs. Towards the end, it became harder and harder to keep the secret. As his mother, I could tell. What you mean you knew? Stalker. But they did it for each other. But did we do it is the question. The night that we found out they were kissing in bed. I don't know, we were standing up from what I remember. And ready to go all the way for the first time. You couldn't just cheer me on from the keyhole or something? You had to barge in and interrupt my shit? God. I'm offended. That's when we walked in on them. I exploded in rage, yelling at Naomi, calling her a terrible, dangerous influence. Why would you do that? That's that's horrible. Poor Naomi. <laughs> that was the night that she disappeared. I didn't I don't mention Sharon. She must have taken away Naomi away that night. She must have taken Naomi away that night. It would have been easy to lure her out of the house when she was emotionally unstable. <laughs> That's the name of my Instagram, Mr. Emotionally Vacant. It was unstable, but someone already took it. And then I did the bunch of underscores, and someone already took that too. So I was like, okay, fuck, it's, it's emotionally vacant now. That night, Naomi called me. Oh, this is a more complicated story than I thought. Maybe we were all to the blame. We couldn't understand her. I couldn't understand her. None of us can understand her! Kelsey, you need to calm down. Jesus fucking Christ, that startled me. Kelsa, I... I just need to speak to someone. Hey, what's going What's up? I'm watching a movie downstairs. So Liz, I like it. <laughs> oh, I don't want to bother you. Oh, this is, this is gonna make me sad, man. I think I got my teeth, Liz. Speaking of teas, it... Alright, I'm gonna have a sip of tea, hold on. Oh, it's at the perfect temperature. I don't add sugar. I don't want to bother you. You sound weird. Like, emotionally unstable and heartbroken and... possibly completely crestfallen. What is it? Scary movie. Which one? One, two, three, four, five. Betty speaks in the fucking background because that's 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 Betty for you. 
Hold on, I'm dicking around with my fucking tea bags. That's some good shit. Why can't you be hemp tea? All right. <clears throat> Why would you torture yourself like this? Well, what the fuck are you watching? <laughs> Get that pillow away from your face. You can't even see the blood and gore. That's like the best part of horror movies. <laughs> no, no. The guy in scary mask is going to get her. That's usually how it works. Unless there's like some male protagonist who ends up trying to get some of that puss puss. So. And when I got back on the phone, Naomi was no longer on the other end. No, it wasn't you. I was the one who overreacted and called her a useless piece of shit who was a bad influence on my degenerate son. Can't believe our character tried to smash an anime furry. When I happened to catch them in bed and about to make love for the first time, I, I wept tears of joy. <laughs> I, I blew a fuse. It was such a terrible fuse, but it was a great fuse that I blew. Too bad she didn't blow his fuse. <laughs> Am I right? I flew into Tyriad against Naomi. And she ran out of the house sobbing, never to return. It's fucking terrible. That was hard to read with a smile. Now I know why our character moved away. It's fucked up, man. All this time, I thought she was dead or feral. Yeah, you got such a high opinion of her, don't you? I blamed myself for it. So I'm surprised to find out that she is here in town and so successful. Yeah, people do that, you know? When they get out of depression, they finally do something with their lives and then they become successful if they don't kill themselves. Because, you know, people can actually turn around like that. You know, it's completely possible. It's my fault. Yeah, it pretty much is, you piece of shit father. My mom and dad hold each other's hands and my mom crying. The fuck are you crying about? Fuck off. Get out of my life. Elizabeth, take your dog girls and leave. We were very judgmental. She was a wolf girl that was full of potential. We just had our prejudices against that kind of humanoid breed. Why? You shouldn't hate someone just because of how they were born. That would be like me hating, I don't know, a Native American for just being born. That's wrong. You, you shouldn't hate someone just because of how they were born. That's fucked up. But unfortunately it exists in the world, so... I wanted to protect you as my little boy. I didn't want you to turn wild. The only thing that was getting wild was the night. And the night was young, and so were we. And it was going to be wild. That's all that mattered. And you ruined my wild night of greatness. My chance to conquer... No, not conquer. More like... Wiggle my worm into the soil. And sow some seeds. But no, you, you guys completely fucking stopped all of that by by kicking out probably the only character that our character actually truly had ever loved. And even though we, we made out with her like a couple episodes ago, but you know, hey, you know, this is where we're at now because of you fucking guys fucking over everything, you shithole fucking parents. How could you fucking do that to someone? Fuck you guys. I hate our character's parents. You don't hate someone just because of how they're born. So what if you have prejudices? You hide that shit. You don't talk about it when they're around. Or you just fucking forget about the prejudices because not everyone's like that. Not everyone's like your deep-seated prejudices. Fuck off. That's why we try to get you back together with Sharon, even if she is a little rough around the edges. She's a fucking razor blade. She's a razor blade in a fucking suicide ward. I think you made a big mistake there, but I appreciate you po apologizing even if it is completely half-assed and not even worth being spoken of. Because it was so terrible. As it turns out, 
Sharon is the truly crazy one, and Naomi is just really fucking heartbroken because of you, me, and what Sharon did. But mainly what Sharon did, because she thinks that I did that. Even though I didn't, because our character is a gentleman. At least I try to make him one. Huh? I explained how Sharon was the one who kidnapped Naomi as a pup and left her out on the highway to fend for herself. Naomi would have returned, but Sharon made her think that we all hated her. I can't believe it. She would really do such a thing. Yeah. All the dog girls in the room seethe with anger. Ready to tear apart Sharon. Sick him. I take it back. Master has become entertaining again. I've been entertaining for about as long as I can remember. I just haven't had much motivation up until now. I might, considering, I might consider changing the name of our Cafe Ebola into Cafe Scandal. Name of the tea drop, because that's where all the tea drops see us. Hey, I just got smacked in the face of the tea bag. Uh, that gives me high school memories. <laughs> the whole room bursts out into laughter. <laughs> so glad. I'm surprised that you're back, D dip, dip, fuck, dip, shit, dip, dip, dick, fucking dick broccoli. I don't know what your name is. Your name's Dick Broccoli now. Congratulations. Welcome back, Dick Broccoli. Of course, my training's complete, man, and I officially got a new job with the triple pay raise. <laughs> triple uh, raise, man. Congrats, my man. I'm really proud of you, Dick Broccoli. There's an uncomfortable pause, and yet I and I realize that there's information yet to be shared. Mother and father step forward a pace, place one hand on Elizabeth's shoulder. Are they gonna fucking sparta her out the window? Cause that would be fucking awesome, but terrible. We think that it's best for your emotional development if you choose one of these dog girls to be yours. Mine? You can't do this to me. You can't just give me a harem and take them all away from me. I'm friends with them. I turned to them and realized that they had been hoping for the same. Was I ready to commit to one of them? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of want to go with Lily, but everyone's kind of like stick with Cat, and I'm just like, but it's Lily. I mean, how can you hate sweet, tender, and gentle Lily? Lily is life, and Cat is. Well, she's alright. She's not the best. I initially thought the idea was ridiculous, but now I could see myself with one of them. Where's Naomi? I don't see Naomi in there. <laughs> well, we all know I'm not choosing Mia. <laughs> we don't want you to we don't want to control you anymore, but we think it's best if you choose the choose if you best if the one you choose lives with you for a year. Then the other two can return. Okay, so you're just temporarily abducting my harem. That's fine, I guess. You don't have to if you don't want to. No, you're completely wrong. You're right. I speak in front of the whole family. Not ashamed is how I feel. And I turn to the dog girls. Well, fuck me sideways. We actually have to make that choice, don't we? Shit. God damn it. Why isn't it now? I love all of you very dearly, and I think I do need to choose between you. I don't have a coin to flip or anything, so I actually have to choose. When the voting ceremony is over, I will make my decision. Why don't you just make a fucking heart-shaped incision on me and then just give it to one of them, you know, my heart. Just cut that fucker out, because I don't want to feel more pain. In truth, I have no idea who I will choose. 
Well, some of us do. I sit between the three dog girls in the town hall as we await the results. The mayor stands at the podium. I see Naomi with her three dog girls, Violet, Isla, and Drudge. I hope that you get li used to living on the streets. Well, I had to for a short time. That's Naomi has experienced it. Now it's your turn. Can't imagine what it would be like to live on the street. Is that how Naomi had lived? Once my parents found out about Sharon, they phoned her and told her that she was no longer welcome in their home. She flew into a rage, and last I heard, she moved to another city. Shit, we're actually at the end, aren't we? I still feel I need to make amends with Naomi. I just need a chance to talk to her. Town hall is crammed with people from the town. Let me get and drink some tea. Everyone is eager, as they all have made their bets, their own bets too. Gambling's illegal. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, thank you all for attending today. This event was made in the spirit of competition. Business is a tricky is a tricky and tough business, pun intended. That was call that a fucking pun. He looks around the room, but no one laughs. <laughs> That's the guy who funded most of my fucking party and shit. <laughs> oh, that was fucking funny, man. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, man. Yeah, this guy's about as good at cracking jokes as Socket can be. Not that good all the time. It was an exceptionally poor joke, really. <laughs> anyway, let's proceed to the results. As you all know, the person with the most earnings over the last two weeks yeah, will gain the rights to both cafes. The whole town hall goes silent. I feel my pulse fluctuating, and my palms get sweaty, and my knees get weak. Don't worry, Master. No matter what, we have the community behind us. That's all that matters. As long as you have a community behind you, or aside you, like I do, then you're good to go. And lots of food, hopefully. Now oh, my nose... And a hard-working family. Oh, and lots of food, and a hard-working family. I grin and squeeze each of their hands in turn. What, do we have three fucking arms? Why didn't we go use our three arms during the bathroom scene? Okay, we're not going to talk about that. I'm not worried. The mayor opens an envelope with the results. His eyes pop. Fuck, I lost. Well, I'm used to it. Yeah, there's tea in my mustache. <clears throat> Fucking hair. I gotta shave. <laughs> well, could you believe it? We almost have a time. That's how close it is. There's a hush throughout the town hall. If it's that close, then it could be anyone's victory. There's, a, there's no telling. For a moment... I catch Naomi's eye. There isn't any condemnation in them. It's only vulnerability and sadness. I'm familiar with the second part, not the first part, though. In that moment, I realize she doesn't really want to beat me. She's just hurt. And only by a few dollars, the winner is... He drums his fat fingers on the podium. <laughs> That's mean. I can't take a suspense! Me neither, Cat. I'm shutting my eyes. That won't help you in this situation. Might as well cover your big, floofy ears. 
Get on with it! Oh, sorry. Fuck. I'm only the mayor, you pieces of shit. As I was saying, the winner is... We all lean forward. I'm already doing that. <laughs> I noticed a line of drool hanging <laughs> from Nunu's mouth. What the fuck? Cafe Ebola! I figured. I blink, whispering the words to myself over and over. Fuck yes, I win! Wow, I actually win at something in a video game. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? Wow. 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 I knew, I, I actually knew that I think we'd win. Because, I mean, we did have the mayor and, like, a shit ton of celebrities at the party, so... Honestly, uh, Naomi didn't stand a chance. And he, pro and he probably thinks a few dollars is, like, three billion dollars. He's like, oh, just a few dollars. <laughs> it's only a few dollars, my good chap, don't worry. <laughs> Here's three billion. Oh, that's only small change compared to what I snort every day. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Cafe Ebola. I don't believe it. We won. Now, if only we can set up shop in Africa again. Everyone rushes at me. There's a blur of faces and bodies. Good. 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 That was a weird, awkward good. In the distance, I see Naomi staring at the ground. She says something to her dog girls who are crying. That's right. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, dog girls. Naomi, you're cool. Fuck all three of you. Because that's what fucking champions do. They rub it. They rub the fucking faces in the dirt. Like fucking they just pissed on the floor. You stick their nose in it. Because fuck you. You rude ass dog girls. Naomi's cool. I'll have a couple of fucking shots with her. I don't care. She smiles at them kindly and hugs them. Naomi starts to walk off towards the exit, but Lily notices first. Master, I don't care what she's done. She's still part of the family. Okay. I can sense there's something very good inside of her. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on what that good thing could be. Don't let her go. Explain to her the truth of what happened. Um, well, we could do that. I grip my diary in my- You brought your fucking diary?! <laughs> you fucking loser. Okay. I know exactly how I'm going to prove to her the truth. Ooh. For once, I have the power to let her life be ruined. They're giving me the Infinity Stone. The last Infinity Stone. The Soul Stone. Because isn't that the one that fucking Gamora was killed over? The Soul Stone? Yeah, it was. Literally, this is the Soul Stone of the fucking choices here. Fucking. It's literally the last fucking jewel on Thanos' cock ring of goddamn choices here. And it's gonna be amazing. Because I could do the unthinkable. I could just let her go, and the whole thing would be over, the story would be over, the game would be over, I'd have to make, I'd probably still have to make a decision, but I could just let her life be ruined completely. By letting her go and never speaking to her again, she would live out probably the rest of her life either feral or just drenched in shame and sadness and depression. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to choose the option that most people probably fucking picked. And I'm going to go run. And I'm going to explain my feelings like some emo kid fucking trying to get with a popular girl. I have to go. Come, girls. I dash through the crowd and through the doors and into the stormy night. That's not basic at all. The girls follow me, there's thunder, so it's hard to make out exactly where Naomi has gone to. We tear through the rain, trying to locate her. Then I see her figure. I walk up to her. 
ever so slowly. What? What are you doing? Naomi. She's standing in the rain, soaked. Oh, I didn't actually notice the uh, rain until now. That's cool. I take my umbrella and cover all of us. Do we really need to shower in cold rain? RAIN! This is magical! Something good is about to happen! I cannot wait! You need to calm down, Lily. Naomi turns to me, towards me slowly. I need this uh, smiling face right here to add to my uh, smiling anime girl collection. Uh, I, you, I look at it whenever I'm really fucking depressed, and let me tell you, it helps. She's smiling serenely. She seems surprised by all the by all the girls. What? Not me? Okay. Fucking cool. I had the power to ruin your life, and I didn't remember that, Naomi. <laughs> Naomi. I'm glad you won. Why? Time freezes, and I stare at her. I suppose you also think these dog girls are beneath you. Well, no, one of them's gonna be on top of me, that's all I'm saying. You, you have them following you around, giving you love and without giving back affection in return. Maybe that's why I never had a chance. Not that I want to be an item anymore. I'm over it. You are so not over it. Don't lie to me. Uh, let me drink some tea, because that's tea, Thayeth. How many times am I going to say in this fucking video? I don't know. As many times as I can milk out. Hold on. <laughs> Worst part about having facial hair is when you have a mustache and it's like really long on the ends. Like, it's not long anywhere else, but it's long on the fucking ends of like, it's like the hair keeps getting into the corners of my mouth and it tastes like a... It's like I'm eating hair and I fucking hate it. So, I'll have to shave after the video. Another two hours of my life wasted. Naomi, you're so wrong. I have no association with the family, but I can tell you he... The, I can tell you he is true. Thanks. I'm the valiant white knight of anime. I don't mind it. Really? I bet he, I bet he tells you that. Deep down he's ashamed of being with a dog grown public. Honestly, I'm not ashamed of being with anybody in public. I'm ashamed of people being seen with me in public. <laughs> That's only because he's shy about these things. Naomi is about to leave. I need to prove her wrong. What is any of this gonna do? I don't want to kiss Mia a second time. <laughs> But I don't want to put my hand on Mia's cheek, either. I don't want to touch Mia. Well, if we're gonna do it, I guess we might as well fucking go full hog. I mean, come on. But, wait. If we do that, that might just prove her point. If we place a hand on Mia's cheek, that shows tenderness. That shows affection. Going, just kissing her, that's, that treats her more like an object, maybe. That, that might be what she might think if I make the wrong decision here. We're gonna go for tenderness. I lay a hand against the side of Mia's face. She closes her eyes, pressing her cheek into my palm. Oh, that's adorable, but fuck off, Mia. You're cold. I know. I don't want you to be cold anymore. Any of you. So we're all gonna be cold together. I just fucking rip off my shirt, there's a fucking bomb. <laughs> uh. I don't know why I found that funny. Master. The only sound is the patter of rain and the footsteps as fucking Naomi runs the fuck away from me because I'm a piece of shit with no life. You wanted me to win. Naomi nods. She seems surprised by what she's seeing. Mia's eyes are closed and she is smiling adorably and now I have to t add that to my screenshot collection of smiling anime girls. God fucking god damn it. The other dog girls surround me, hugging. Okay. I see. So you've changed. I was so angry at you for so long. It was eating me alive and turning me into something that I wasn't. 
Okay, emo. Fucking pull up your skinny jeans here, alright? It was becoming the things that your parents accused me of being. Every day I hated myself just a little bit more. Oh, honey, you'll always hate yourself a little bit more. It just, it gets less and less throughout life because you get more numb to it. Unless you learn to love yourself, which is really fucking hard, believe me. Naomi, I know how it feels to be utterly abandoned and as well as heartbroken. Most of my owners left me. God damn it. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Fuck. Yes, <laughs> I defend for myself in the streets. God damn it. Why didn't you people tell me this? I know you fuckers played the game and beat it ahead of me. Oh, now I, now I feel terrible for hating me. <laughs> Over time, I was able to survive and educate myself. Well, at least some good came out of it. Then when you decided to open up a business, I felt a bond with you. I see. You were fucking wrong, Mia, you stupid bitch. Okay. <laughs> for what it's worth, I'm sorry. I don't know why you abandoned me. But I'm sorry anyway. I show Naomi the diary. The diary that holds all the fucking bits and pieces of my entire life succumbs to these little pages with my scratchings called handwriting. Labeling my daily misfortunes, my bits of happiness, smiles, hugs, and kisses all formed into one leather-bound piece of shit. I started writing this from the day that you left. I turn the pages over and start reading from it. Why did Naomi leave me? I thought we had something special. Maybe I was smothering her. I should have kept a diary when I went through my for went through my breakup. <laughs> it was horrible. Maybe I could find her. I don't have to run away from home. So far, my investigation has led nowhere. I keep flipping through the pages. It's been 14 months and three days, and I still haven't heard from her. I don't understand. I don't know how to explain what happened with Sharon. All of us embrace each other. That should just be the ending. That right there. That should just be the ending. That should just be the ending. She cut it off. No season two. That's the ending. I don't need to choose. That's the ending right there. It's We all hug. We all make up. Everything's good. That's the ending. This is the ending. Okay? This is the fucking end of the video. No, it's not. But this right here should be the ending. The true ending is at 5245. I want you to run both the cafes with me. Let's do it. Together. She stares at me for a long moment. And then laughs and hugs me. Yay, we got a hug. Yes. Just like that? Okay. We return to the town hall. Three dog girls are in front of me. Oh, fuck. It's decision time. Hands folded at their front, waiting for my decision. Naomi steps forward, taking my hand. So who will it be? What, did I, did I fill you in on my situation? You have to choose. Sorry, I just really love piano music. Yeah, this music makes me sad. Because I don't want the game to end. I don't know who to choose. 
Now that I know Mia's backstory, I really like her too. <laughs> it's not out of pity or anything, I just I just like her personality. Even though I was being a complete cinderay about that shit, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on my fan because it's actually starting to heat up in my room. God damn. I'm not gonna choose Mia. I really want to choose Mia. I was legit about to be like, I'm gonna make what's called a pro gamer decision and choose Mia instead of the other two. But no, I'm not gonna choose Mia. Honestly, the reason why I'm not gonna choose Mia is because the other two have stuck around longer and they've and they were the ones who came to me. Um, you know, they came from fucking Dick Broccoli's house and. You know, they've just been around longer, so I feel like I have to give seniority over to them. And between Lily and Kat, it's it's tearing me apart, Lisa. That's all I can say. Let me drink the rest of my tea, and then I'll fucking try to come up with a decision. Squeezing out the last bit of tea in my tea bag, so I'm gonna right, throw that in the trash. <sighs> Who the fuck do I choose? I so badly want to choose Mia. I, I'm right, I'm like really, really wanting to do that, but I can't. <laughs> Just know that I would have chosen Mia instead of the other two in this scenario when it came down to it, okay? Just know that my actual choice is Mia. The choice I'm going with now is what you guys want. Please forgive me, Lily. I step forward towards Kat. I think this, this was inevitable, considering the number of people who already want to kidnap and take you away. The biggest pervert of all chooses me. I'm not a fucking pervert, I swear. This is a good match. Why? Maybe because we're as perverted as each other. Wait a minute, what? Oh, no. I don't want to make them sad. Why do you people hate me? Why could you let me have freedom of choice? Doesn't matter. My ninja girlfriend, it's my. It's going to be my choice and mine alone, not your guys' choice. <laughs> Man. And here it comes. The good series is coming to an end. Lily and Mia are doing a mixture of biting their lips and looking weepy. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Lily. Mia, you were going to be my choice. But, sorry. I'm, I'm happy for you too. But, does this mean... She chokes off. You see what you guys did? You see what you made me do? Now, I made best girl cry, and I'm never gonna forgive myself for it. I'm literally gonna beat myself up all day about it. So I hope you guys are fucking happy. Oh no, don't say that. Come on, don't say that. Are we never gonna see each other again, Master? No, we will. I promise. I place my hand on their heads, furrowing their hair. Master. We're one big family. Look how much Elizabeth shows up. I would never split us.
I'll never forget you two. They break out in tears and hug me. I'm not reading that. I feel I feel like shit. I should have chose Lily. I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood to do the voice. But I'll do it anyway. Now that the sappy stuff is done, man, how about we party it up, man? Here, I got I got some good old fucking kush, man. Yeah, you won't believe it, dude. It's fucking bomb ass shit, man. Alright, so we got some fucking, we got some AK over here, and we got some of that good old OG, and hey, bro, I know what you like, I know you like that sour diesel, I got that sour diesel too, hey, yeah, it's all good, it's all good, hey, yeah, yeah, just keep it chill, alright? The town hall screams in approval, and music booms from the speakers, and completely ruins my phone speaker, because I only have one. <laughs> Cat grinds on me hard. Finally, all that grinding finally paid off because now I'm being the one ground on. <laughs> Cat grinds on me hard, flailing her long ha hair back as I hold her waist. Oh yeah, I told you we'd be mounted by a dog girl at some point. I feel a lot of heat between us. She reminds me of Naomi with how wild she is deep down. <laughs> Don't you dare insult Naomi like that, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's horrible. Naomi is one of a kind. Every woman is different, even if some of them have the same desires. When she straightens up, pressing her lips to my collarbone, her voice is dirty. I finally won, didn't I? No. Won? I took you from the others. Now I get you all to myself every day. Take me away from here. I need... wherever. She kisses my face slowly. Each kiss sends shivers through me. Oh god, I hate it when that happens. I don't know if you guys have actually, like, fallen, like, made out with a girl, and, like, it got a little serious, and you start to feel a little tingly. And I don't mean, like, in your dick, no. Because, hey, let's face it, most of my viewers are dudes. But, you know, you just get so, like, stupidly giddy and just into it. Dude, it's the worst shit ever, okay? <laughs> and let me tell you right now, there's no way to fucking get rid of it. Take me. Oh, God, I am fucking gonna die. Okay, we're gonna go somewhere secluded, because we should end this game with a bang. I take Cat to a nearby motel. Oh, come on. Be classy. God. This is so naughty. Yeah, do you have any idea how much fucking AIDS semen is all over these fucking bed sheets, man? Moments later, I'm sliding up my hands up her sexy, elegant dress and grasping her soft body. <laughs> I'm definitely going to prison after this video. She's in heels and her skin glows. I kiss along her neck and collarbone. Look how perverted... Look how your perverted hands are feeling me up. <laughs> Sorry, guys! <laughs> she claws my shoulder with her nails in return. She then bites my neck, sucking it like a leech. It's the most unattractive way to talk about getting a hickey I've ever heard. We kiss a long while, feeling each other's bodies. Suddenly, she pulls back, pulling her skirt back in place. Her lipstick is smeared, and her skirt is high enough that I see she's wearing very sexy underwear. Congratulations, you got a, you got a panic shot, but we didn't. Cat? Cat's eyes are as big as saucers. She's casting a dirty look my way that gets me excited. Holy shit, we actually got to see a scene that was actually in the fucking ad things. Yes! Look, just look at that face. Go on, boys. Take screenshots. I've got a secret for you. 
A secret? Tell me your secrets. I can make any of your wishes come true. Any. I want you to tell me what you want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Shuggles a finger around her body. Okay. Her face is flushed with red readiness. What do you want to do to me? Ooh. <laughs> I'm unnerved by Kat's intensity, but she looks so hot. Yeah, nothing's more attractive than a young fucking dog girl. Because, you know, it's not lollikinism, but it's more like lollicommunism. Lollicanumanism. Get intimate. Case. No, we're going down the R-rated. <laughs> oh yeah, we're got yeah. It's it just went from PG thirteen to fucking R. This is what I've ground those rubies for. Let me feel how tight you are. I want to you right here on this bed. I was gonna read that and be more seductive, but no, that's not working. I want you to right here on this bed. <laughs> yes, sir. She positions herself on the bed. Please tell me we're doing it doggy style. That'd be like the best fucking ending ever. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> Seeing her in the upright position, I feel saliva run through my mouth. I step toward her, running a hand down her length. You look like a model. Treat me like one then, sir. I breathe hard, running my hand along her calves down to her heels, and then I slide her skirt up. Cat sighs and groans, biting her lips and running a hand through her hair in anticipation. Oh, wow. I need it now. Oh, you gonna get it? I position over her. That feels amazing. She feels so hot around me. I feel my heart pounding as we become one. How is this not a fucking hentai game? Come on. If this was a hentai game, it would be far more popular. Oh, Amber Fox <laughs> said no girl ever. <laughs> well, they didn't call me Amber Fox, but... After having our fill, we decide to head back home. Come on! You have me play an entire fucking game, and this is all we get? I'm insulted. We enter the apartment laughing and kissing and learn when the lights when I turn on the lights I freeze. What are you doing here? I return to the apartment to see Sharon standing by the counter with a long kitchen knife. Oh, we're about to get yandere. Oh shit. I'm taking back what's mine, baby. Stop, look, this this is crazy. She clicks toward me in long heels. If I can't have you, no one can. This took an unexpected turn. And then she launches herself towards me. I use my martial arts instincts to block her arm and restrain the knife. She pushes me into a wall, looking crazy and fuming. Why, why don't you love me? Sharon, don't do this. You're not much better. She drops the knife, weeping. I bend down and rub her back. Dude, she's got a knife in her tits, dude. She'll just fucking... She'll just pull it out of her bra and stab you in the fucking eye. I want everyone in my life to be happy. We had a good run. She straightens up and I take her hands. You're a beautiful young woman. You have the whole world at your fingertips. Not really, but okay. Sharon brushes my face with a finger. She literally just tried to kill you. This is more bipolar than my emotions can be. I'll always love you. Okay. Then she turns to Cat. Please look after him. I'm sorry. That went from like a hundred to zero in like just less than a few seconds. She leaves us and Cat takes my hand, planting a kiss on my cheek. What a sexy woman. Okay. What? Cat's eyes are huge. She bites her lips. I want to make you forget all about her. Well, going in for round two. <laughs> <laughs> I at least go in for round three when I can. I bite my lip, my lips in return. I usually tear the skin off of them when I get nervous. I'd love to see you do that. I'm definitely going to enjoy being together with Cat and not Lily. 
My life couldn't get any better. Good game. It gets four stars, though. Actually, I've already rated this game. Why am I doing it again? Four, four stars. We will continue to improve my drama. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for watching with this series. The next series I will be recording is My Dragon Girlfriend. Because I want to keep it on um, human stories and humanoid stories. So, um, or as you can call them in the anime world, the demi-human stories. Um, so, I, I kind of wanted to, you know, I think that'd be a good balance. But uh, we're going to finish off my Mafia Girlfriend, and then I'm going to start doing my Dragon Girlfriend. So I hope you guys enjoyed the series and the videos. And just know, this is not the last time I'm playing this game. I will, of course, play it and get um, and romance each girl. Um, because, you know, <laughs> we're gentlemen. And gentlemen go for all of them. No, they don't. But thank you guys for watching the series. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a pleasure to actually record this set for you guys. And I love doing it. Hopefully this does not get cut. But if it does, I'll tell you guys what happened. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!